Hey, hey, y'all. It's your girl, Tay. XO, XO. And I'm back with another freaking video. Back with another freaking video. Back, 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 back. Pick a pick it back, back. Yeet. I don't know why I did that, but <laughs> it just came out, y'all. It spilled out. Hey, my Tay base. How y'all doing today? I'm doing great. Another video, another video, another, another, another video. So y'all, y'all see, I got my braids, I got my nails done, <laughs> but that has nothing to do with this video because we are about to do a story time and try this water burger, blue cheese bacon burger. And if you say what a burger, I, I don't even know what to say because it's water burger. Okay, so y'all, this is how it's supposed to look. I'm going to put it right here on how it's supposed to look. And I'm going to show y'all how mine came out. So we'll see if it looks the same or, you know, it look a little different because, you know, sometimes burgers be looking different. And on mine, I added jalapenos because your girl, you know, y'all know I love hot, hot foods. Got my fries. Love water burger fries. They're always fresh. And y'all, I cut my burger in half because I can never finish it all. Oh, and so they usually give me two pieces, two sides of it. So we got one half. And then we got the other half. So y'all, I used my app today. Um, oh, I asked for spicy ketchup and they, okay, here we go. I was about to say, uh-uh, uh-uh. So, I ordered on my app, so it gave me a free blue cheese, bacon burger, or whatever. So, I was like, yeah, I'm going to do a video with this because I got something to tell y'all. I don't think I ever said it before. So, I was like, I might as well do a story time. And y'all, it's about to rain. Oh, my goodness. It looks so gloomy outside. It probably don't look that gloomy right there, but that's the side it's coming from, Okay. So let me get a prayer and I'm going to start, okay? Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for all my Tebes out there. Thank you for this food, the hands that prepared and please let it be a nourishment and fulfillment to my soul and my body. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Okay, so I probably need a thumbnail. And bow down below in that title. Y'all are probably like, what? What, you, 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 what, what happened? Let's see. Okay. That face is kind of cringy, but. <laughs> so, y'all, I want to taste. I need a fry first, though. I ain't going to lie, because they fries are A1. If you ain't had Whataburger, you slacking. Here's a bite for y'all. Mm. And I got strawberry soda. Because. Duh. Strawberry soda, Coke, or Dr. Pepper. So, y'all, it really looks regular. But y'all can see the blue cheese crumbles in there. My jalapenos. Okay, whew, here we go. First bite. Let's taste. That's good. Y'all, that's really good. Okay. And it's only for a limited time, so if you haven't gotten one, go ahead and get you one. So let's start with this story, y'all. So when I was living in Louisiana, I worked at Hooters, okay? Don't judge me, judge your mama. I was doing what I could to get me some money and I wanted the experience. So, the, the Hooters was all the way in Monroe. Mind you, I went to Grambling, so that's like 45 minutes away, 30 minutes away. And so, one night, I was coming from home from work 
and it was like super late y'all like it was around 1 30 2 o'clock in the morning so i'm speeding because it's a like a day where i had class the next day and so i get to rustin which is right next to grandma y'all i'm like 10 minutes away from my house 10 10 good minutes away from my house I get pulled over because I'm speeding because I'm tired I'm ready to go home it was a long day so cop pulls me over and mind you y'all know y'all supposed to get on the right side so good thing I wasn't speeding no I think you're supposed to get on the left side so good thing I like pulled over right when he, you know, said something because I was on the wrong side of the road. And so I'm sitting there. So he can't come to this side to um, talk to me or anything because I'm on the wrong side. So y'all, he flashes his light. So now I'm scared because it's two o'clock in the morning. I'm getting pulled over. It's dark. I'm tired. And He's flashing these lights, and so I roll down my window, and he gets on these little intercom thing. He's like, get out of the car. I'm like, oh, okay. Please, Lord, I can't go to jail right now. <laughs> I cannot go to jail right now, not in Louisiana. So, he's talking to me. He's like, okay, go get your license and registration. You were going pretty fast. Like, where are you going? Mind y'all, I'm looking at him like, sir, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm trying to go home. I just got off of work. Tell him, like, you know, I have class in one. All that stuff. He did not care. So, he ends up giving me a ticket. Which is fine. Nobody judged me. I know we all had a speeding ticket before. If you've never had a speeding ticket before, knock on wood because you must drive three miles underneath the speed limit but y'all know coming from Houston like when it's late you just trying to get home so get my ticket y'all and my, I told my mom no I didn't tell my mom okay so this was the thing this is like how it all came in so Two weeks go by. So, mind you, in Texas, like, at that time, you had two months to pay a, a speeding ticket. So, y'all, I didn't read it. I didn't call. I didn't try to dispute it or whatever because I'm like, whatever. And mind you, he was a um, state trooper. So, he probably wouldn't have been in the area anyway if I would have went to court and fought it. But, y'all, I was like, I'm just going to pay for this, whatever. And I was like, I didn't want the help of my mom. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna work really hard um, to make sure that I can pay off this ticket. I'm gonna do some extra like shifts so I can get some good tips and all that stuff. So yeah, um, I'm thinking I just had, I had too much to pay. I was wrong, okay? Y'all just, so good. If I didn't say it before, I'm going to say it now. If you don't like blue cheese, you a basic Tebe. You a basic Tebe. This is so good, y'all. And creamy. It's not like super sour. They have like this ranch dressing sauce in here. It's like really good. I think it's like pepper ranch or something. Y'all, it's so freaking stinking good, okay? Mm. But anyway, back to my story. So, y'all. Couple weeks go by. And I'm still, I'm not even worried about the ticket at this point. I didn't 
Loki forgot about it because I'm like, I got the money to pay it. I'm going to just pay it when I have time. So, I had a conference. Literally, the weekend after I was supposed to pay it, okay? And I'm at this conference. We just got there. Mind you, it's in Shreveport. So that's another 45 minutes in the opposite way of Grambling. So, get there. It's the first night. I wake up. My mom has called me like three or four times, y'all. So I'm thinking, oh my goodness, what's going on? Am I going to have to go home? Like, what is happening? Y'all, my mom texts me. <laughs> and she's super calm, but she's called me like five times already. So, super calm. It's early in the morning. Mind you, the conference started at like eight or seven. So it's super early. She calls me. Don't answer. Call her back. She's like, um, I got something in the mail for you. I'm like, oh, what? Can you like send it to me? What is it? Because of course she go through my mail like every mother does. Y'all, this lady proceeds to tell me that I have well, that was disrespectful, y'all. My phone overheated. So it might overheat again because it's on the dashboard. And it ended at a funny part too, y'all. <laughs> no, so my mom proceeds to tell me, y'all, that I have a freaking warrant that came to the house. Mind y'all, like I said before, I literally was trying to make sure she didn't know so I could pay it on my own. Then I was gonna tell her like, mom, I got a ticket. But I paid it off. I'm being an adult. Yum, 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 yum. So, y'all, I'm at the conference freaking out. She was like, yeah. Because I asked her, I was like, so can I, can I call? Can I do, 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 do? What do I need to do? She was like, yeah. So, they called. She called them and asked, like, okay, what does she have to do? Da, 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 da. Can she, you know, pay it over the phone? This, that, and the other. I'll call her and let her know. They were like, no, she has to come up to the courthouse and pay the warrant, pay the ticket, or they were going to arrest me for the warrant. I was like, y'all, if I would have gotten taken out of that freaking conference in handcuffs because of a ticket, y'all, I'm very dramatic, so I'm very dramatic. Like, y'all, I was crying so much, and then I told, <laughs> I told my um, big sister, my pro fight, I was like, I have to go back to Grambling because I got a ticket and I don't want to get arrested. And da, 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 da. They sent it to my mom. Da, da, da. She's like, girl, it's too early. Calm down. Go do what you have to do. Come back. Because we had a whole weekend for the conference. Y'all, I was still hungry and this burger is so good. I had to, <laughs> I had to open up the other one. But I'm probably not going to finish this one because it's a lot. But you never know with me because your girl be hungry. Oh, no. Mind you, I was already in my clothes. My nice, my nice fit or whatever. So, I had to drive 45 minutes back to Grambling. Go get my emergency credit card. So I can put the money on the credit card. And go up to the um, courthouse and rust in so I can pay off the ticket. Y'all, I was so nervous. I was like, oh my goodness, I hope that they don't take me to jail right here. And then, y'all, I cried the whole way back <laughs> to Grambling. Because I'm just so dramatic. I was on the phone with my mom, like, crying. Like, what if I get stopped right now? They're going to take me to jail. Da, 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 da. They're going to send me down to the bad jail. <laughs> Y'all, I was being so, so, so dramatic. Oh. 
everybody out there. If you have a ticket right now, pay it the next week. Pay it the next day. Get that stuff taken care of because they do not play. Y'all. And I was so embarrassed. Because y'all, I'm this is literally my sophomore year going to my junior year of high school. And I was so embarrassed because it's like, I wanted to be a big girl. I wanted to make sure I didn't tell my mom. I wanted to do it all on my own and be independent and work to make sure nobody finds out. Clearly, I did a bad job with that. So the next time I got a ticket, y'all, because coming home from Grambling, like, there's a lot of, um, what is it called? Speed, speed, um, I forgot what they're called. Like the little towns that are in between like the states and you know, from big cities, speed traps. So there's a lot of speed trap cities in Texas. So if you're going through Texas, make sure you pay attention to your GPS because your GPS does tell you when the speed changes. And sometimes the, the speed will change in a bush and you going from 70 to 20. So make sure y'all pay attention because that's a, like the other ways that I got um, speeding tickets. So y'all be careful because these cops be ready to give you a ticket. Y'all, I thought he was going to give me a warning. I'm not going to lie since it was so late. And I told him I was coming home from work. I showed him my uniform, everything. And he just was, he did not care. And y'all, I think I honestly, after he gave me my ticket, I think I got in my car, slammed the door, and sped off. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Because <laughs> I was so irritated, because it was like, I have class. I'm just trying to get home. I'm tired. It was just too much. So yeah, that's, that's the story time of how I got a warrant, but I didn't get put in jail. And it wasn't like something super serious, you know what I mean? Like, because regardless, I think like, if you have a warrant and you get pulled over, like, some cops will just take you in. And some, I guess, will make you pay. Some can make you pay right then and there. I don't know how warrants go. But I wasn't going to try and find out to by getting stopped by a cop on my way from uh, Shreveport. Y'all was so scared. Like, because it's such a long way. And there's a million, like, state troopers going from Grambling to Monroe and Grambling to Shreveport. Uh, you live in North Louisiana, then you know, like, Louisiana State Troopers be on the prowl, y'all. It don't matter if it's the first of the month, end of the month, middle of the month, middle of the week. They are there ready to stop you and give you a ticket because it's such an easy, like, it's so easy to speed because there's no buildings around. You're literally going, it's, I think it's like three lanes. So you just trying to get to where you going and they will stop you. So be careful y'all, excuse me. And that's driving anywhere, honestly, you know what I mean? Like you just gotta be careful, try and go the speed limit. Like in Houston, you don't really get stopped for speeding because we all speed, you know what I mean? But still be careful. Abide by the law and the rules because you never know if that cop is having a bad day. You could be having a bad day and give off the wrong energy or have an attitude, you know. 
So just be careful out here, y'all. Um, I pray for anybody who's getting stopped and, you know, getting taken in for senseless stuff. So just be careful at all times, y'all. Ain't nothing worth losing your life. Ain't nothing worth going to jail for. So. Oh. Oh. But y'all, this burger was good, okay? I ate the whole thing. I ate both halves. So when I cut off, y'all, I had to put my phone in the AC. So I had finished that little piece. And I done finished this too. Ooh, y'all, that was so freaking stinking good. One out of ten, I would definitely recommend. For sure. And I wasn't getting like crazy random blue cheese crumbles like in like in my mouth. So it all like meshed together. If you have a water burger next to you, try it out. It's really good. But I'm done with this video, y'all. I have my fries, but they're getting cold. And usually I eat my fries before my burger. But I was hungry, y'all. It's that time of the month, so your girl big greedy out here, okay? <laughs> but I'm glad y'all got to spend lunch with me or dinner or whatever time you're watching this. Thank y'all for watching. I love y'all so much, and I'll see y'all in the next video. In the next video, y'all, it's going to be crump. It's going to be real fire, real spicy-like. Okay, but I love y'all so 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 much. If you've tried this burger, let me know how you like it down below in the um comment section. And if you get all the way through this video, comment some red hearts since I have on my Houston Texas shirt, red and blue hearts, and then I'll know if you actually watch the whole video. I love y'all so 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 much my tapes love y'all mm -hmm. bye